have you bought any games with this? It comes with them all. Does it really? Yeah. Bizarre. I thought you had to buy every individual game and then install it. No, you nasty <laughs> idiot. Oh. <laughs> I guess I'm unfortunately confused. Only play with friends. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. Christ. Jesus. <laughs> Just like Sega. That hurt. Oh, let's watch this. Let's get invested in Sega from the 90s. Oh, that woke me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's okay. <laughs> Oh, dude, this has Streets of Rage on it. Yeah, I yeah, love that game. It also has Golden Axe. Yeah! <laughs> Look at those Gunstar men, Corey. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> awkward. <laughs> those are the awkward characters. Used I've never played Toe Jam and Earl. It's really boring. You walk <laughs> around and collect things. It, it's kind of like an isometric, almost like a, like a Zelda sort uh -huh. of perspective. I feel like most people who like it only like it because of the music. It's the weird funkiness or, of it. Or you know what I'd, I'd maybe compare it to? Did you ever play that Goof Troop game for the Super Nintendo? No. Okay, never mind. I don't know what I'd compare it to then. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just looking at my Toy Story room. <laughs> this brings me back. God. Corey, you gotta waddle around on your little legs into your little child bed. I'm like the Terminator, though, because I have all these options I can see before me. Most people can't see this. So it's like a Google Smart Glasses. <laughs> You've got your little... <laughs> <laughs> What is the game? Oh, oh! I was Cor Chris. Corey was right. Chris, uh, holy, Chris, Chris! You must feel like an idiot what? now. What was it? Chris, I Corey, told you. once again. What did he do? Once again, is correct. I went back out. Look, we don't yeah, have any games. You do need to buy. I told the you games. we had to buy all the games I and bet. They install it as DLC. You Are you sure? Don't have to install I'm pretty it. sure. This uh. is a fun video game. So far. <laughs> Big fan. I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> Now you're my friend Dominic from the 90s whose parents were divorced and got two Christmases. Look at all those games! <laughs> Let's pop this sucker in just like in real life. It yeah. comes out of the wood. All right. <laughs> TV shouted out. We're gonna need maximum Cory on this. We need, we need you to, to bring it. I love this game. I haven't played it in a while, so how long has that love been there? Wait, who the fuck's that orange idiot? Uh, it's, uh, Knuckles. Okay, can I just say, go, uh, I never played this one as a kid, I only played one, which is the worst one, apparently. <laughs> but everyone knows this fucking song. It's a little laggy. Is it? Yeah. I also like this, like, virtual wall. The grid? The, side of the, the yeah. Sega grid? I love that thing. It's crazy. <laughs> Makes you feel like I'm actually inside the TV. Yeah, but don't go beyond it. Is it actually laggy in what way? It's just a little laggy. Oh, it's probably the emulator. Here, let me get this little shoe here. I'm gonna hit the spring. Okay, I just want to make a joke. Like, like when he gets that shoe, it's almost like he's he's on crack or speed. Yeah, yes. that's really true. It's almost like he's doing some kind of like hardcore, like illegal drug of some sort. And that <laughs> that is inherently just a hilarious concept. To I me. just tried to drop dash. <laughs> no, but you know, I'm I'm kind of glad I never played this as a kid because it would have like unleashed my full autism. <laughs> I, I love this game. This would have gotten me absolutely hooked forever. Yeah, I beat it so many times. Actually, what's funny is this game's kind of ruthless for the last boss. Yeah. Kind of like throws you at the wolves and then the wolves eat the remains. Because it's like, they expect a lot from you as a kid towards the end. Because you're kind of like, they kind of like, once you get to it, you're like, I can do anything. I can take on the world. And then they remove your source of life. They're like, oh, you need <laughs> rings? We'll be sure to make you fight two bosses and then fucking have fun with no rings. So as a kid, you're like... Your heart's breathing, and you can't you know what's going on. Your heart's breathing so hard. <laughs> your heart's beating and breathing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this game's awesome. Also, Chris, I I, I don't think that this w would have like well, unlocked you your that. full potential of. I I don't think these are the games that do it because these are just you whatever. That I think this just, is the game that did it to most people. You, no, I think it's more the later ones where Sonic starts like fighting the military and characters start like giving speeches about like <laughs> the state of life. I don't think that. That happens until like kind of the Sonic Adventure era where they they tried to be like Sonic is cool. Sonic is Sonic is what saves the world. Sonic Sonic fights wars. You <laughs> I guess know? you're right, but no, I, I think this is still the game. So okay, here's the thing about Sonic One is everyone wants to like Sonic, but Sonic One is so boring and shit that 
No one ever actually really completes it that much. Yeah, Sonic 1 is boring. Most kids I know never beat Sonic 1 because it's just so shit to get through. Sonic 1 was like a test, and uh, and most people will agree. Like, they play the first level of Sonic 1, and they're like, I love Sonic. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Green Hills. I love Green Hills, Green Hills. Yeah. And then the next level, you're like, this sucks. And then the whole, the whole rest <laughs> of the game is like, this sucks. Okay, Corey. Dr. Robotnik. Is he deep down a good guy? No, he's an asshole. Well, then how come in Sonic Adventure 2, at the end of the game, he seems like a good guy? <laughs> It's all a ruse. They do that a couple times, actually. <laughs> yeah, they do. That happens in the first Sonic Adventure too. He's like, I promise I will never be a dick again. And then really? he's immediately a dick again. <laughs> yeah, he draws yeah, a knife on Tails. Yeah, they gotta stop fucking trusting him. <laughs> yeah. Tails goes to shake his hand and he pulls a gun on him and says, NOBODY FOLLOW ME! <laughs> was, uh, was the spin dash in Sonic 1? I, I no. could have sworn it came in this game. Yeah. It was this one, yeah. Yeah, this is- that's what- and that's the thing too, is like, momentum in Sonic 1 was really like, it was all trial and error. I think what I was trying to say before is like, Sonic 1 started out, you do the first level, and you're really into it. Sorry for me rolling all the time, it's a habit. Anytime I see like a- a thing, anyone who plays Sonic games knows that once you- it, see a hill, you instinctively roll. It's like, yeah. it's it's what everybody knows. But, so, like, they did the first level, and then they were like, we don't want to, like, wear everybody out. We give them, like, an endorphin thing, and then they're ready to go. So let's slow it down to a crawl with the next level where you have to wait for blocks over lava. Mm -hmm. And then they pick it up again because you do the casino stage, yeah. and then it's the worst stage ever, Labyrinth Zone, and then you stop playing the game because you hate it. Okay, that's fair. That's basically how you play Sonic the Hedgehog. By the way, I'm not going to become Super Sonic because then it would be annoying because I would constantly drum, jump and become Super Sonic because if you hold jump, once you have 50 rings, you become Super Sonic. There's like no way to do it. And all the new games that come out, you have to press a button to instinctively do it. Okay, well, um, Lyle. Yes, my friend. If you were to make a good Sonic game, how would you do it? Uh, well, the first thing, it would start with a quote from Bro- uh, Baroque Spinoza? I thought you were going to say <laughs> Barack <that>? Obama. <laughs> yeah, Baroque so. Spinoza? Yeah. Fat Dog uh, Mendoza? Yeah. I think just like involving philosophy in Sonic would be a good idea. Sonic Sonic would say, what What does life even mean? He'd look off into the distance and then, <laughs> and then spoiler alert, Dark Sonic, right? You're he's just Sonic, yeah, ripping off Shadow he's at this Sonic. Point. But he's no, no. This You're is Sonic. Rewriting this history. is Sonic, but he's evil. <laughs> okay, it's yeah. Dark Sonic. Because that's what's cool is when you see a character, and then there's another character that's exactly like him. Everyone thinks Dark Sonic is Sonic. All right, this isn't Shadow, but it's Dark Sonic. Okay, Lyle. And the Dark Sonic. <sighs> he has your marries hair. Marries Amy, uh. and he has yeah, he has my hair. <laughs> and then a Amy gets pregnant with Dark Does he Sonic's also have baby. Tattoos? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is he a fan of Jack Daniel? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. And then, um, and then Dark Sonic looks right at the camera and says, your dad was wrong about you. And that's, that's the video that's game. Fucking and awesome. then he him off, and then it's over. I knew that that would be no! cool. <laughs> oh well, shit. Well, Tails is dead now. You dropped him in the purple acid. Yeah. <laughs> He's never gonna be the same. It's alright. Kinda sucks as a character in this. He's just sort of like a, a puppet that you screw around with. Every time he comes in from flying, he's usually falling to his death a second later. Well, he got out, but that probably took like a year and a half off his lifespan. Yeah. If Corey. 53 is gonna go to the doctor and find yeah, out up? he's got like heart issues because of that. What's Corey, up? make a uh, dorkly uh, cartoon about Sonic right now. A dorkly cartoon? Yeah. Okay, well, Tails is trying to be his friend, and he's just like, Tails, have you paid rent yet? Is that kind of like how it is? And then no. he's just like... No, nah, you're missing the entire point of Dorkly. Actually, if I'm trying to think right, Dorkly, they did Sonic for Hire. Yeah, um, I'm not sure, actually. Maybe. Are you sure? Are you sure? Didn't they? It, sure, it sure does seem the same, you're right. Well, if you want to know what they would do as a Sonic parody, look up Sonic for Hire. He basically... That's all it was. Uh, do you that's, remember that's Sonic That's gone, for Hire? I think, now, because Machinima as a whole is gone. Yeah, they liquidated Dorkly's everything. Dorkly's still around. No, what Dorkly does is they'll take a really, really obvious video Dude, game I'm... observation and be like, like, Tails can't die, he Sonic's always comes on back. Speed. Sonic's on speed. Yeah, it'll be like that, but there, there was one episode where it's like, <gasps> Oh, Tails, you're dead! Excuse and then Tails me. like, actually, I'm still alive. What? You're immortal! And then the rest of the cartoon is about him being immortal. Like, that, that's a Dorkly idea. That's the guy from the cartoon. Oh, yeah. Except he's not green. Grounder? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is the chicken in this? Scratch. The <laughs> I don't think he is. Puppy power! No, that's Scrappy. Has he- <laughs> The same voice. <laughs> Has he ever been in a Sonic game, the Chicken Man? I don't- I, 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 He must have been. I don't- know. I don't he think he has. He better have been. 
I think it if was. He's not Corey. He was only for Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. This is the part, by the way. You have to ride these things, or else you'll be fucked. There's Dude. an easier way to do it. Dude, Grounder was just Patrick Star in a robot suit. There, I skipped it. You really done it now, Corey. Hopefully, I don't oh. die. Oh. This is the maximum Corey I wanted. <laughs> this level's pretty. I'll give it that. Music rocks. Oh no! Oh fuck! I love the first track. The. <laughs> I bet when a Greek guy built this, he wanted you to do this. <laughs> yeah. He was envisioning Sonic while he was building the <laughs> he fucking room. Someday like, a blue hedgehog will fly through here. And then this column will fall right as he gets up to it. And then I'll learn to do my real native accent. <laughs> <laughs> rather yes. than an Italian one. Millions, he then. is I, a Greek person. <laughs> Greek person. <laughs> I speak like this. <laughs> you sound like you're doing a Greek person in a dub in like the <laughs> early 90s. Oh shit! Come on, Eggman. That wouldn't fucking support that. Eggman, you're fucking stupid. He's yeah, a fucking. You didn't see this one coming, you moron. Why build it on <laughs> such a thin support? They just put spikes down up here. Just get a flamethrower, you fucking fat idiot. Yeah, as far as inventions go, I, I think maybe maybe stone pillars that you have to smack with a hammer to make spit ancient tribal arrows. What a twat! <laughs> what an idiot. Dr. All right, dipshit. The next place is Mystic Cave. Mm -hmm. That's the next place. Or the the. Yeah, I remember that from. Actually, wait, no, I never played this before. Stupid. No, it's Casino Night. Wow. Okay, I remember this. Okay. Oh, look at the sky. That's actually really cool. I miss that kind of shit. That's the whole entire Las Vegas back there. Is that where the hookers are? Yes. Should I be trying to get points? Uh, no, you sh you- no! Or should I be trying to play the game? Just have fun! Show I'm me the sights! We'll Show me what I missed as a kid! We'll do debug mode too, while well, are you having a good time watching the sights? No, this sucks. No, it's good. In real life, if you what? had to go to the casino, that would suck. I did have to go to this casino. Well, yeah, did you accidentally fall into a <sighs> pair of spikes? No, my mom and dad were like- Did you get stuck in here and almost suffocate? Luckily <laughs> there's a spring you can hold down? <laughs> no, worse things happen. My mom yeah, and dad yeah, oh, were like, the bouncy over here. My mom and dad were like, we're visiting soon, uh, but we want to go to Vegas. Would you go with us? And I was like, nah, I don't want to go to Vegas. And they were like, but we're going on a road trip. And I'm like, now uh, I want to go. No, yeah, I was like, I do want to go on a road trip, but I hate Vegas. Dude, I don't like Vegas casinos. Is... And, and, and they were like, uh, okay, how about this? You just stay in the hotel and uh, like watch TV or whatever. And then like after a day or two, we'll just go on the road trip. I'm like, fine. But then when it came to that point, they were like, they kept trying to make me go out and do shit in Vegas, even though I fucking hate it. And then, uh, one day, I got really, like, annoyed and just, like, walked back to the hotel, and then there was a bunch of, like, hookers and, like, scary dudes trying to, like, get me to do stuff, and yeah. they were, like, harassing me. Dude, you Las Vegas is scary. You Strumpet's Most Foul? Yeah. There, was, there, there, there was this bunch of raggedy old fucking bitch prostitutes, <laughs> like, they were nasty, and they were like, Hey, big tall guy, <laughs> come over here! And I was like, no! And then, like, I was saying it out loud, like, stop. Chris. Yeah? What? Chris, when I when I went to Las Vegas, well, we were trying to pass time because yeah, Las Vegas is is really expensive. It's funny, like everything there is like forty dollars more than it normally would be. I'm because sick they... of shitty places costing so much, like fucking Disneyland, dude. Disneyland was the biggest fucking piece of shit ever this year, and it costs so much money. But anyway, yeah. go on. No, no. Uh, same so, with Vegas. It's shit and it costs too much. Las Vegas is basically you go there because they know you're going to at least make something back. So yeah. they can like, because you will. Like I made like 80 bucks in like 20 minutes. You're so right. Everyone makes their money back in Vegas. It, but you <laughs> have to know when to fold. Because like you, you're not going to be getting to the 100,000 unless you're a lunatic. Or you're lucky. But so when I went there, I was like, all right, 80 bucks. I've almost spent like $200 now and it's only been one day. This is a bad sign. We were like, I want to pass time. So we looked around and there was these guys who were like, hey, you want to have a good time? And he was like handing us cards. And yeah. I was like, yeah. And so I just walk around and I, we went with John. So everybody who was there, I was just grabbing cards. People were like, you want to meet her? And I'm like, sure. And I'm like, do you have any more of her? <laughs> and I just kept grabbing cards. <laughs> and like yeah. I had a, had a huge stockpile of nudie girls who wanted to be banged <laughs> and they would probably rob you and then when we got yeah. back to the hotel room we made a uh, oh. battling trading card game with the girls oh my god i remember that yeah like the breast size gave them like more strength and like depending on what they did they would have like better defense yeah, I remember it was that. really fun wait a minute i'm in hell i don't wait. know how to get out of here wait yeah. 
What? Why does it look like Vegas? <laughs> it's because we're in Vegas. Oh. Are you kidding me? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Why did it not? <laughs> But that was like, that was the funnest I had in Vegas when I wasn't getting ripped off. When you're fucking creating a card game out of hooker cards? <laughs> yeah. With fucking dead hookers that don't probably exist anymore. You know and they're using the bottom. same old art that they fucking stole. That didn't cost Corey a penny. <laughs> See, if you know how to do Vegas right, it doesn't have to be expensive. Oh, this is a boss. That's cool. This boss is annoying if you get like in a loop. <laughs> but if you can do this. Yeah. He's gonna come in and go, Hello, Sonic. Do you want to meet some girls? <laughs> Check out this bad one. He's handing side of cards and he's just collecting them. No! Oh, but uh, hey, homeboy, you know, you those hooker cards. You just see him on the side of the street as a kid, and you're like, "Yes, please." And you put them in your pocket. Yeah. And then your I dad would've. is like, "Why is your pocket so heavy?" Hmm. If I was a kid <laughs> and some man in his like late forties was like, "Hey, you want to have a good time?" But I'm like ten and he's handing me cards. I'm gonna be like, "Whoa, free porn!" Yeah, and you're I'm gonna, gonna be, be collecting like, them like crazy. I want to have a good fucking time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna be collecting them like crazy. I'm so bad at dealing with. Uh, like, scary shady types in, like, Vegas. Oh, that was annoying. Dudes with greasy ponytails. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. Fumbling their little greasy cocks in their hands. <laughs> oh, no, it's Hilltop Zone, then Mystic Cave. I'm dumb. I hate that sound. There's lava in this level, right? Yeah, it's the one where you This is the, the one. Room. This is the one that used to fuck me up when I was a kid. This It'll is the one I would up. always get to. And I would, I would, uh, run out of lives. Yeah, you can- I haven't gotten any continues, by the way. So if we lose all these lives, we're fucked. So I'll try not to lose all these lives. So nech. Maybe I'll get one continue. I don't know how to get continues in this- how do you get continues in this game? You have to beat it with 50 rings, right? You're doing pretty good. I mean, you've only died once this whole time. Yeah, that was dumb, though. You're honestly pretty good at Sonic 2, it turns out. When Thank you said, you. I'm good at Sonic 2, I'll, I'll be honest, <laughs> I, I thought, Cory, good at Sonic? I, I, he doesn't strike me as the type, but now... <laughs> it's not just for show, it's not my handle, it's really something I try to strive at. Oh my god, look at that. Yeah, it's very scary, I don't know what's over here. Oh yeah, I am supposed to go down here. This level looks like a test room. It a little does. bit, yeah. That's the thing with Sonic though, is checkers are like, because when you run by, they make them look cool, like speedy. Yeah, that's true. Never thought about that. I think there's I a life either. over there, but I'm not gonna go for it. Get a life. Wow. So... Mm -hmm. Do they really think that looks cool? I think they did. That looks like girly sparkles or something, I don't know. <laughs> not on my Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> How come Tails runs like that? It's because this was made in, uh, the 90s? <laughs> if this was made in the 2000s, they would point at Sonic and call him gay. Yeah. And if this was made in the 2010s, they point at Sonic and, and say, I accept you. <laughs> dude, there were so much gay jokes in the 90s. Yeah, there really were. Like, I, I, oh, dude, I was. That was just a joke on its own. Sorry, it's I like, mean, you're I gay. Mean, uh, <laughs> 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 I was just going to say, like, how, how can you blame me for just repeating what I heard as a little kid? <laughs> the fucking info has sunken in and it can't come out now. Well, it's, it's hard pressed in. I, I can't help it either. There, I guess there's ways to diverge it. I heard the N word so often on the radio. <laughs> the radio? Yeah. I just thought it meant friend. I. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Chris, I was watching um, The Invention of Lying. With Ricky Jervis? Yeah. Okay. And there's like a part where they basically just insult him for being gay. <laughs> well, they, they imply that he's gay. Yeah. They call him like, you know, you can quote me here. They call him as like a chubby little queer. And then they, and then like, the lady... Like, you, you can edit this down, obviously, but the lady goes, like, I didn't call you a chubby little queer, I called you a fat <laughs> <laughs> And it was really funny, That's and caught hilarious. me off guard. That's funny. And I couldn't believe it. But yeah, that's in that came out in the 90s, that was 2009. 90s didn't give a shit. <laughs> that's not the 90s, Corey. <laughs> Wait, well, you know what I mean. 2000 is the 90s. Okay. How many times- <laughs> The 90s are in our hearts and souls, okay? Listen, the 90s didn't end when the 2000s started! They it's... kinda did. No, they didn't, though. The 90s stuck around until, like, 2010. That's when the 90s That's died. That's fucking stupid, Corey. It's true, though. It's also fact. The 90s died when Friends went off the air, which I believe was, yeah, like, 2008. That's a good point. Which is also probably not true. Basically, the 90s wasn't dead while Ska was still popular. 
Yeah, that, I guess that's fair. I can't believe Scott died and never even made a feeble attempt to come back. It tried, but it just seemed like too weird. Like, I'm not into it, but it just seems like something that would still be popular for some reason. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't seem like a genre that, like... It doesn't feel like disco, like it can't come back. Yeah. It can survive in, like, Japan, but I don't think it really has a place here when mumble rap is, like, topping the charts. Oh, yeah. I mean, not Sorry, even, not like, to, topping not the... Not to judge. It doesn't need to top the charts, but, like... Metal hasn't been like quote unquote popular for a really long time, but it's still got a huge it's still underground good, scene. Though. Yeah. Metal's still good. But that's what I mean. Ska isn't like one of those genres that's totally bereft of like, oh, what were we thinking? You no, know, it's, it's, it's not it's not industrial, you it's know. Last, it's not <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It, and it'll last this it, people will still come back and listen to it because it's a type of mu music that's almost like a feeling. I know that sounds really cringy, but Yeah. It makes you feel good. Oh Makes my you God. want to pick something up. Oh. Corey, watch out! I almost one-shot at him. He's really? gonna, he's gonna not like <gasps> what- Oh! oh Corey! Corey! No! You're dang! I... Oh, dude, Tails got the ring. Yeah, that was good. Tails is a fucking sweet little sack of shit. Now it's... Tails is engaged to your feet. Still, I screwed up. <laughs> I wasn't counting to eight. I was, like, distracted. But now we're on to Mystic Cave. We're booking it. Eggman's Hell kind yeah. of a fucking dumbass dude. He is. Puts a button on top rather than a fucking lock, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't put the extra work in. See, now that would be a dorkly comic, or a dorkly cartoon. That would, yeah. Eggman puts buttons on everything! I'm trying to get into my house, a button! What? I've been robbed! That would be the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of funny, though. <laughs> it's not! It's funny because it's It's funny not. the way you delivered it. Can I say that? Yeah. Okay. You can say anything you want, especially the things you shouldn't say. Like, are you trying to force me to say a word that I shouldn't say just because I shouldn't say it? I want you to say the word you're thinking of to this music with a smile on your face. <laughs> you're gonna- you're backing me into a corner that I can't battle my way out of. <laughs> Uh, did you guys want to play? I'm sorry, I'm like... No, I, I'm, I'm liking watching you do this. I'm kind of happy that you are playing because I don't want to play. I hate playing video. I'm doing really bad, but... Well, you're probably doing better than anyone else on this couch would, let's be real. Uh, Especially Chris. <laughs> you know the way people are always like, Oh, video games have all this shit over the medium of TV, like you can control it, blah 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 blah. Well, it kind of puts a lot of pressure on you, you know? Damn it! You've got a thing's life in your hands now. That was just bad. <laughs> I shouldn't have did that, but I also shouldn't have fallen. You shouldn't have did that? Would you learn some basic English, Corey? Sorry. God damn. One second, I'm actually gonna try something. For all the five-year-olds watching this, please don't learn what he's saying. <laughs> it's really important to have good grammar, especially for tests. Especially if you're an idiot. Because then you can fake being smart and use big words. Yeah. Oh no, it's not coming. In oh. fact, skip all the small ones. Just start learning big ones. You don't even have to know what they mean. Like aphrodisiac. Use them in arguments. Like this one. Uh... I think... Wait, what are we talking about? This uh -oh. is just so <laughs> disingenuous what you're saying right now, Chris. Well, yeah, what are we talking about? We're talking about how much of a piece of shit Lyle's been up until this point. There we go. This is absolute bipartisanship. I'm <laughs> done. <laughs> uh, Lyle? I wanted to get the high ground. Not in this argument, but in the game. You've done- you've done both, Corey. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna get out of here. You're gonna have a beautiful family. If you get the bottom level, you get pretty hard, but I think there's one part where you literally can't get out of it no matter what. In fact, the guy who did Sonic Mania, who like, helped with like, the concept... He Christian! 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 Yeah, Christian Whitehead. Whitehead. Yeah! He put... Uh, he put the secret level in there if you fall down there because he people go down there all the fucking time Isn't that kind of egotistical of him though? Maybe, but it's also kind of a Sonic inside joke, which by the way, Dorkly was, was just, put in their fucking I cartoon. I was just trolling. Uh, Dorkly.org? What, what's their name? Dorkly.com Is that what it is? Dorkly? Oh, you were like Thumbass? three rings away from a life and you I know, just I'm an wouldn't idiot. do it. I didn't realize it. Wow. Let's just like have a Dorkly marathon for a video. That'd be pretty cool. I think we get in trouble though. <laughs> but from who? Dorkly. Dorkly. They'd love it. Okay. What if we insulted them every step of the way? <laughs> Do you think that they would honestly care? Do you think anyone no. at Dorkly is sitting around like, I'm so passionate about this Sonic <laughs> joke that I'm writing? Oh, you. No, that's true. It is kind of a dick move. It's kind of like punching down. At Dorkly? Yeah. It's like, your videos are fucking stupid and shit. It's like, yeah. And? <laughs> I think they know. Yeah. I think that's what gets them off. 
also, everyone oil writing ocean. shorts for Dorkly is like looking for other go- other jobs. If like, they're not currently. writing shorts for Sonic, they're writing shorts of Princess Peach getting captured and Mario's pissed. He sure is. <laughs> and if that doesn't get your Jimmy's going, I don't know what will. <laughs> Look, if, if if you see Mario say the fuck word and you're not <laughs> laughing, look, I, you just don't have a funny bone. I'm just gonna I come out and a, say it. There's a trick. In I think this area. I think certified funny comedian Larry the Cable Guy put it best when he said, "I, I don't care who you are, that's funny." <laughs> after he told the joke. <laughs> I don't care. Say it like him. <laughs> yeah, I'll put him in another situation with a certain kind of joke. He'd say, "Oh, okay, who you are? That's funny." This is a really strange level. It is really It's got weird. Arabian music and a lot of oil stuff. I Mechanical actually, seahorses shooting. I like the Mania version of it, though, a lot more. Yeah? Yeah. Because you can light the oil on fire. Yeah, it's just way more interesting. I like the music of this stage. More than I like the stage. Okay, wait, this is this is gonna... This is gonna sound really stupid. But it's I'll how I truly that. feel. I think uh, 2D doesn't really suit Sonic very well. I, th I actually do prefer th you Sonic prefer in the 3D. 3D. Just because you can see where you're going at, when you're going fast. Well, if it's any consolation, that's what everybody's been wanting, a holy 3D Sonic game, which hasn't happened in quite a while. Like in this game, the camera doesn't pan out if you're going fast, it has you centered so you can't react to anything when you're going fast. I can tell you right now, I think this game's a lot funner widescreen. Yeah, yeah I was just about to say that, because is, you, yeah, if you can see further in front of you, it would be real cool. And that's what Mania did, and also like the re-releases of Sonic. Wow, good spot for a spike. <laughs> no, really, that was a it good was spot actually, for a spike. Yeah. I was kind Some of impressed Kaizo that shit. you managed to hurt yourself on that stupidly I was fucking I, The thing, I'm trying to look for these, like, there's like these circle things that shoot you around. This level's so long. So am I. <laughs> I hate these kind of, I don't- I don't really like it in games when, like, you get in a bar- like Donkey Kong, like, it just shoots you around, and, like, there's no point. Yeah. What do you either. mean? Where where it'll like it'll launch shoot, you through like yeah, five or six barrels at a time? Yeah, it's just it's a, it's a spectacle for like five seconds, I guess. I don't mind it. I think that that's fine. You know, sometimes it's not a big deal or nothing. Sometimes it doesn't wow you the way you expect it to. But I, I mean, Sonic's always had that. Like the the loop de loops and shit are completely pointless. But they're like, whoa, we went in a loop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the way you said that. No, but loop de loops are satisfying to go through. Yeah, it's they're inherently even more satisfying. satisfying in 3D. I mean, that, that's what they're trying to do with that, I think. They're like, oh, look, he's being shot through all these cannons. Yeah. I really like Sonic 2, but I felt like they mastered the Sonic design in levels at Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Y you know, we could have played that instead, right? <laughs> uh, no, no, I still want, I still like Sonic 2. It's okay. shorter. <laughs> we should play Sonic that. 3 and Knuckles is a little longer. Like? Huh? Like? What do you mean? Longer like? Like me, Oh, my, again. my cock? <laughs> Let me ask you something. When do you think I first played Sonic 2? When you were... Uh... Let me guess. I bet... Because you're asking me this question, I'm gonna guess when you were 12? A little later. Oh... 13? Wow, you must feel like an idiot now. <laughs> <laughs> you guess Corey's age when he played Sonic 2 wrong! <laughs> you moron! Sorry, Corey, go ahead. I don't no, like being fine. insulted like that. <laughs> I was born in, like, 1990, so people would have thought, like, oh, you would have been all about Sonic, because, like, as a kid, little kid, I would have loved it. But I didn't play Sonic oh. until, um, Ooh. the PlayStation 2 was out. Wow. Like, I, I didn't even have a Sega Genesis. This is around the time when owning, like, a, a console like that, like, you could get it for, like, 50 bucks. And my parents went to, uh... Well, my parents just brought back this huge box full of Sega Genesis games, and inside the box had a notebook that had codes, <laughs> and it also came with a Game Genie in the box. So I wow. had a Game Genie with codes that these last people had, and I had, like, 40 Sega Genesis games. I had every single Sonic game and, like, four pages worth of codes for every single game. And that's how I played. That's why I played Sonic because I had a fucking, I had a gold mine, that's endless lucky. playing ability. So I I don't know it anymore, but I used to know the level select code by heart. Mm. So if I wanted to just skip a stage, I could just click a button and go back to the main menu and go to like a stage I wanted to play. That's sick. And I also knew how to do debug mode by heart, which I think is the creator of this of Sonic's. I don't know if it's the creator of Sonic's birthday or the guy who made this game's birthday. I should know. My mom gave my Genesis away. I don't even remember my mom's birthday, let alone this fucking guy. <laughs> well, I only knew that because that was what the code A submarine was. in oil? You can't even see what you're doing down there, stupid. My mom so gave, gave away my Genesis. That sucks. I know. I, she did it behind my back. 
Yeah, she like traded it for a Polly Pocket to the neighbor. And <laughs> <laughs> it was a Mighty Max, yeah. <laughs> was it a worthwhile trade? You know, I, I'm not sure if I if I told the part where I, I met the guy. Be, uh, no, she tricked me. That was it. She, she was like, "Wait, okay, this got a new layer to it." No, it, it was uh, the, that guy came over. He was like this 18 year old dude, and he had a big fucking smile on his face because he knew he was ripping me off. Oh my god! Fucking uh, horrible. She was like, "Chris, you, uh, we're, we're getting rid of your Genesis." Like, okay. Like, like, obviously I'm not, like, happy about it. <laughs> what are they giving you in return? Exactly, but she was like, but you're getting this, like, amazing fucking toy, Mighty Max. And I was like, <laughs> wow, it sounds amazing. <laughs> and then, then... They, they had to hype it up or else you would have been disappointed. He came in with a fucking white plastic bag and he's just like, Hey, Chris, good to meet you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad we're making this trade. And it's like, obviously, he, like, he's a fucking asshole. He bought one or two Mighty Max things for, like, $20 and he got a fucking Genesis with every fucking game on it in return. So, that sucks. I know, what an really asshole. Really bad. I don't know who the fuck that guy even was. Well, Wait, where did if he it's any consolation, from? he probably think, got in a car wreck and died violently. I think he was the son of my mom's friend. Oh. I know. Weird. God fucking damn stupid idiot bitch fucking crabs with their big stupid fucking hands. If you do this same mistake a third time right here, I'm gonna be fucking mad, Corey. I'm trying to do THIS! Oh my god! <laughs> oh. I tried to jump over it, it's no. hard. Did he fall down twice? It's because the level wraps. You hit a dead plane and you came back into existence. Was that a glitch? No, it's a part of Genesis. It's a part of Genesis. It's like how they made Sonic level wrap. In the Book of Revelations, when they mentioned this level in Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> the Book of Sonic. Oh my god. Those guys are annoying though. They're really annoying enemies. I should have rolled though. I was stupid. I'll do it next time. Have you I'll guys have ever been to time. a funeral where they have a coloring Come book of the, the deceased? <laughs> Fill in the, the coloration <laughs> on his corpse's cheeks. <laughs> yeah, all the kids crowd around with makeup brushes. <laughs> trying to make the corpse That's what look I tried nicer. to do, but I was too slow. <laughs> I love my universe better than the real world. <laughs> Me too. Can we make a coloring book where you color the deceased? <laughs> with <laughs> hyper detail of what they look like before they croak? First we need to color the people we want deceased for, for the assassins to... <laughs> yeah. To You're gonna, see you, you notice it's a lot of like grays and blues because people look suffocated and fucking bloated. If I color in Cory's face like deep blue sea blue, someone will know to kill him, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, like, have you ever met one of those people where like you had them on Facebook and all of their fucking pictures are in black and white? No. no. Oh, well, if you want to kill one of those people, <laughs> and they, you, you gotta color it in yourself. <laughs> Otherwise, the assassin won't do it, because they're like, w Listen, I don't- I don't see color, but, <laughs> you know, wink wink. Imagine, though. <laughs> oh, he got pricked. He sure did. And now, you're screwing tails. <laughs> good, fuck him. I love making dirty jokes like that. Dude, that gotcha, was a pretty bitch. good one. Everyone lols when I do that. Yeah. I mean, it's funny. I mean, does that stare me, dude? <laughs> yeah, and they're annoying because they pop if you go slow. Oh my god. Wow, that was awesome. Well, then don't go slow. I have to go back and bring the thing back in. Oh, you gotta reload it? Yeah, or I go this way. Interesting. Bingo. Indubitably. Mm. Yes. <sighs> now you're getting it. <laughs> I'm gonna lose all these rings soon. Corey! I'm sorry. This level's annoying. But I thought I, you said before you played this that it was your favorite level. No, not this level, because of this it, bullshit right here. I thought you said I, I love hardware stores and screws and nuts <laughs> and no. bolts. I mean, this level's okay, it's just that it's three acts long and it gets redundant pretty soon. Like Shakespeare. The only thing that's good about it really is the music's awesome. Doesn't Shakespeare have like four acts in a lot of his stuff? I don't know, probably. What an idiot, you didn't even know how to write. Yeah. Or act, for that matter. He had other people do it. That's really, really lame. Yeah. Oh, Honestly, he's no Ben Affleck. <laughs> um... Ben Affleck, huh? Fuck! Shit! You just I, got speared. I love how grumpy Ben Affleck is in, like, all of those, like, Batman interviews after he knew <laughs> he that he- He looks like he's gonna die! <laughs> he knew he made, like, a terrible movie. He wanted to be Batman so bad, too. This is a level wrap, by the way, did you see that? Like, oh, oh yeah! You gotta feel bad for him though, like, it must suck to act for like a year in a movie, and then fucking... Just... They just fuck it up so fucking horrendously. Yeah, you get like your dream role, but it's like a monkey's paw wish. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys talking about? What movie? Oh, uh, uh, Justice League. Yeah, and or Batman v Superman. Oh yeah, that one too. I, I mean, like, I, I think he saw the writing on the wall. Oh my god. Cause Justice League, he got fat. 
did he? He got so fucking jacked for Batman v Superman, and then Justice League, he kind of got fat. <laughs> he just had a huge fucking apple pie right yeah, not, after. Not, not like fat fat, but like actor fat. Like, he's he's still in better shape than me, but like... Yeah, you could tell he he didn't want to keep that body up. So what you're, what you're saying is he became a, a fat fuck, yeah, disgusting I'm, I'm pig. Yeah, I'm saying that like I'm saying that all, all you women, <laughs> that all you women <laughs> that want to have sex with Ben Affleck, instead maybe uh, lower your standards a little bit for the rest of us because he's fat now. You you have to understand that sometimes people like eating food and not having a carb once in their life is hard. Yeah. So you're talking about Ben Fatlick, yeah. Fat Damon, uh, Samuel L. Fatson, yeah. All these guys getting real fat. <laughs> Who else is getting fat? I think they're like, they can get fat now because they've reached pinnacle of like career. Tom boobs. Yeah, we should, uh, we should start like a, uh, like a celebrity gossip magazine, but all it does <laughs> is keep track of who's getting fat. <laughs> and then we make shitty fat puns. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and just say, look, this like, is the news. This is TMZ's I'm, gonna buy that. Gwyneth I'm just, fat tits. I'm basically just... I, I, I have tits. standards of journalism that I have to adhere to, and if someone's getting fat, my job is simply to report the news. That's it. <laughs> and we should Photoshop every picture to make them oh, fat. Oh, yeah, yeah, just make everybody fat. Nobody's fat, we're just making it look yeah, like we, that. we have to lie about every every fat celebrity. You could go a step beyond and just use deepfakes to, like, make videos. We have to do, uh, have you ever seen the movie Nightcrawler? No. Yes, and I yeah. love that fucking movie. <laughs> it's a great movie. Um, but we should do the Nightcrawler thing, but like, make, make people fat, and then report that they're fat. That's a good idea, actually. Finally, we're coming up with some good ideas here. Yeah. Did you see that trick, by the way? Yes, I liked it, but I wouldn't want to see it again. Okay. It, it's a- it's a thing with Sonic games where if you hold jump after you do that, you retain the momentum of your highest- the highest jump. Yeah, I actually was like, does he bounce like that when he hits a It's thing? only- it's only your, the height of your jump is what you can reach as long as you can hit an object. It can do it with enemies or any kind of, like, object that you run into. That's I, a, I did not know that. It's a high tactic play for speedrunners, and they also know about level warping, where you can, like, bounce out of bounds by accidentally mm. going below the sprite base. Sounds like nonsense, but it's cool. Yo, Lyle. Yeah, what's up? What would offend you more, if someone called you ugly or a slob? <laughs> what about an ugly slob? I, <laughs> I, I, I guess a slob would just be fucking accurate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think slob would offend me more, too, just because it, it seems more truthful. Yeah, I, I I think it would offend me less because it seems more truthful. Mm. Oh, it just makes you feel worse. Yeah, I, I would just be like, yeah, whatever. If if that were a problem to me, I probably would like clean up more. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Whoa. Fuck. Okay, how'd you do it that time, smart guy? Oh, I uh, hit a spring. Watch oh, out! All right. <laughs> watch out, Courtney. Didn't actually. This see This level that. fucking sucks. I'm sick of looking at it. Really? Yeah, I hate I it. I told you, it's three acts. This is only the second I'm fucking act. I don't know if this is a popular or unpopular opinion. I'm not a big fan of vertical levels in yeah. these kind of Sonic games. You know, with, um... Honestly, this level just kind of feels like it slows the pace down. I know they want you, like, you can keep your speed somewhat. But the thing about I like about Sonic is when they keep the speed going. I feel that like in the pointless. previous acts, we were moving quickly. Yeah. And then they're just, like, slowing you down with these fucking screw nonsense. You can speed it up if you spin dash, but... It, it's weird playing this game again, because it feels kind of loose. Yeah, oh. like, little mm. platforms like this, it kind of feels weird, because Sonic's a little bit, like, slippery, and he... Like, he's meant to move. Yeah. He's not- he's not Mario where you step on a thing and he immediately just stops, you know? Exactly. I don't know. Uh, no- Oh, no. finally! We have one more act. <laughs> and then we have to do... Sky Chase, which is like an auto-scroller, and then we beat the game, because we have one level after. Forever? Fucking yeah, holy guacamole. Done. Hopefully we can do it. Corey, I have five lives. You're mad dog Cory fucking Fuck! going through this whole goddamn game like a praying mantis throwing his arms off. That's Those praying mantis are Scyther. fucking annoying. Look. Do you remember the episode of Pokemon with Scyther? He just screams. Scyther! <laughs> I only know Scyther because that's what Magichan's father was. Who? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, this is a Chris Chan Or not Chan Magi Chan. Thing. Wild Son of had a Scyther father. Really? Do you see that uh, Chris Chan is married to Mewtwo now? Yeah. Mewtwo and Magi Chan. Yeah. Get oh, up wow. That what screw, a, what a good thing to get to here. No! I actually. <laughs> God damn it. If I, if I was an audience member and I fucking saw that, I would, I would turn this off immediately. I, I know! <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. 
See, the thing is, if I would have kept going, I don't think I would have been able to go because there's like... I think there was only a life at the end of there. So it would have been a waste of time. A life is a waste of time, Corey. Well, it is in this philosophy. level. Because I'll just die once Maybe I get the life and, immediately you and after. Spinoza can have a talk about that. Who's Spinoza? At the beginning of my Sonic game that I've just been greenlit for. <laughs> Spinoza. Uh, who's Spinoza? <laughs> I don't know, some philosopher. <laughs> Why do you keep talking about this guy? <laughs> I don't know, it's just like a weird esoteric reference to make. Is I he... keep thinking of Fat Dog Mendoza when you say it. <laughs> Fat Dog Mendoza. Spinoza. Yeah. Baroque Spinoza, yeah. Can wow. you imagine being like the only reason I know about that guy is there was a YouTuber Stop that, it Tails. There was Don't a YouTuber called Athene Wins that started a cult. And he called the, the cult Neo Spinozism. Uh because it's like a new a new take on the, the Spinoza philosophy. What? I thought but it was then like, it, it turns out the guy has never fucking read Spinoza and doesn't even like just thought it sounded cool. He wants Neo Spinoza. So basically, I'm doing the same thing he's doing, but <laughs> not seriously. You know what the unfortunate part of being Neo Spinoza is? It, what about it? Neo Sporzen, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, Neo Sporzen. Like the salve that you'll, you rub in your. Yeah, you'll never be able to escape that stigma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good luck, <laughs> idiot. Yeah, genius. Although maybe he likes <sighs> that because he's living in like a defunct like Nazi hospital. Like demanding people hug him and cult. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. That that's a strange rabbit hole to go down. But I, I'm honestly surprised that more YouTubers haven't started cults by now. That's, Give it some time. That's the only one I can think of. I think the cults are more like low key, just stealing money until like they yeah, go I, full I, on drinking liquid. I think a lot of them, a lot of them have built similar skill sets to cult leaders, but you, I d there's very few that have actually started cult cults. Do you know Drew Gooden? No. He's he's funny. He uh, did a thing on uh, what's his name? Um, the the guy that everybody hates who saw someone die in the rainforest. Oh, Logan Paul. Yeah. Sorry, it's been a while. It's like cared. But Logan Paul, um, or what's his little brother's name? Uh, Bruce, Jake Paul. Jake Paul. I don't know why I was gonna say Bruce Paul. I don't think that's accurate. It's not a very Paul-like name. Who fucking cares? Bruce so, Paul. So Jake Paul. Okay, now that I just said the name, it really does seem like a douchey fucking name. <laughs> no! Oh god. So oh. anyways... He had a website where he's like, you can become like a Jake Paul or whatever, and it was just this huge con site, which eventually was you know, obviously knocked down and discovered as a concept, but you could have called that like a cult. Yeah, it's like a cult I'll, on like getting people to like be a part of their little bullshit thing. Oh, you know, I know. What you, didn't Nerd City do a video on that? Yeah. I like Nerd City. Yeah, yeah Nerd City is funny. Also, oh, I fuck. may be fucked. Uh -oh. oh, Corey. Does Tails I'll try and live. when you have zero rings? Oh, 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 little bastard. That chocolate starfish just fucked you. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to do something drastic. Cory, no. Not your ultimate form. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get it continue. <laughs> I just hate this stage. Honestly, like, everyone likes it. You don't like it. You only like it because of the music. Shut up. This music, yeah, it's good, but this level is boring as Imagine hell. Imagine this level with no music. It's just, like, there's Think not enough to it. do. <laughs> I'm smart. Think about it. It's just so annoying. I always like the antithesis of Sonic game is going fast. When they force you to slow down and do this stuff, wait, it's not as fun. Wait, so... I was with you for a while <laughs> when you were saying all that stuff. Like, it's boring and all that crap. <laughs> yeah. But then I realized, like, may maybe Corey's just shit at this. Like, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I've, I've been thinking about Here's it. Here's the thing. And maybe there are like, no bad games. Here, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only bad players. <laughs> Here's the thing. Sonic... Uh, okay. Sonic is like... You f oh, bitch, you absolute bitch. There you're at again. And they're, he's gonna hit you again right here, dude. No, not this time. You f***ing cornhole cowboy. Look at that. Oh, you did it! It's such bullshit. Go, Tails, go. Tails, Tails. Tails! You no! Oh, oh. <laughs> You did it. That stupid asshole almost killed me, though. Oh, oh no, this Lord. is hell. Oh, there oh, you go. There it is. All right, we're at the boss. Uh, That's what you dead. get. That's what you get for almost yeah. killing me by trying to be helpful. You moron. He's kind of cute, though. You gotta admit that. When you're old, he'll wipe your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep that in mind while you're talking. In the official Sonic Whoa. lore, whoa, wait, what the? F oh, that was scary. In the official Sonic lore, Tails is only eight months old, right? Three. No, eight months. Eight days. Is he f dividing like a cell? What's happening? Yeah, no, Eggman has always been a single cell organism. <laughs> He's releasing <laughs> balloons and. 
So those Throwing aren't those me. aren't sentient. I don't know. It's mitosis, lol. <laughs> Learn some science. <laughs> it's not hard. I learned what mitosis was from a shitty movie called Evolution. Oh yeah? Yeah, it was Oh the, yeah, that the, the one with like the fucking worm thing in the ground? Yeah, it was the first DVD I ever owned. Why did he do that? Why didn't he just fucking like make a laser that shoots underneath him instead of shooting forward? Why would I have ever been in this area of shooting me? You killed his son, Scorey. Still BTF, I don't even know. <laughs> LOL, what the fuck, barbecue, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. so this is the sky chase I've been hearing so much about. Yeah. But in, in Mania, if you spin dash a lot, you fall off the thing. I don't know if you do that in this, but I'm scared to try it. This music's kind of cool. Yeah. It's good. Though it's, this is kind of boring, and when you're a kid, this is what you get level select to, to skip it. So once you do it once, it's boring forever! <laughs> Sorry, I was burping, but I was trying to disguise it. That stupid fucking turtle decided to ride his other turtle. Yeah, I'm gonna end his son's life. He, he can just, he he can just keep acting and like it didn't happen. it turned into a regular ass tur turtle and then <laughs> fucking plummeted a mile down Did they not earth. realize what- <laughs> This is the problem of the stage, is there's no checkpoints of Corey, dying. learn how to fucking run around on a plane, for God's sakes. I know how, it's just I accidentally walked on the fucking thing, and it made me lose all my rings. A two-year-old could run around on a plane, Corey. Make noise, Yeah, but and can a two-year-old do this?! Okay, that's pretty cool. I've got an idea for a Sonic game. Mm-hmm. Uh... Sonic and Tails are hanging out at the, at the ocean, they're having, you know, a kickback, right? Yeah. And then, uh, they're, like, they're wrestling in the sand, <laughs> and, uh, they're having a good time, and then, uh, Tails accidentally jumps on Sonic, and Sonic just smashes and a little tiny headshot comes <laughs> out. I was expecting a more etchy turn, I wasn't expecting him to be violently blown <laughs> into little bits of Sonic. But it turns out Sonic was a robot the whole time, and uh, he was just controlled by a smaller hedgehog, and even he didn't know. Uh... Sorry, I was surprised at what happened there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you like my idea? Yeah, Sega, are you listening? Well, Sega, you fucking <laughs> hacks. How come I could come up with that while I have my fucking finger up my ass? Yeah, Aaron Weber. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That made me lol. I know. Aaron Weber created Sonic. Little did you know. Well, he created the Sonic social media. If he can pull any string for me, it's release the fucking ugly cut of the Sonic movie, please. Uh, th you know what? What a weird turn of events, right? Woo! Hey! Get a fucking don't coin! Don't throw birds last second, there's not enough rings, dick! Get that ring right now. That like, movie comes out very soon, and by the time this comes out, maybe it'll be released. But... <gasps> I think... I think it, it would be better if oh. it was worse. Do you want to hear gonna a say. funny story? <laughs> Yeah. So when the movie was announced and, like, the remake had been made, Dave was losing his fucking mind and just would not budge. He thought that it wasn't just an inco uh, incompetent person at the at the lead of the Sonic thing. He was thinking it was, like, this big master plan to sell more copies. And I'm like, Dave, you are an idiot. Whoa. This was made by, like, a fucking studio who has done... Wh wh who's doing it now? I'm trying to think. I want to say it's Universal, but I could be totally wrong. Yeah, it's like Universal. It's like, what do they have to gain or lose from a fucking Sonic the Hedgehog movie? It's already like weird property anyways. And essentially... Whoa. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. God, dude. Sorry. Um, if I get to one life, I'm gonna have to save. So basically, Dave was like, no, it's a conspiracy. It's all set up. And he was like getting on Jeff's fucking nerves, so Jeff got pissed and drew a comic and showed Dave. And it was basically Dave's like, IT'S A CONSPIRACY! And then Jeff's like, Dave, you're a moron. It was an incompetent person who didn't understand- And if you saw the movie, it had like, Gangster's Paradise, and it looked like <laughs> dog shit. Yeah. And- and then at the very end of it, he showed the Rotten Tomatoes score, and it was like a 35. And he was <laughs> acting like it was like the second coming of Christ, like it was gonna be a big deal. Yeah. If there's anything Jeff can do, he can make little Stickman comics really funny. If you ask, he'll probably show it to you. There was a hot minute where I thought it might be a conspiracy. So they were like, we're remaking Sonic. But then they didn't delay the movie. So at that point for like a week, I was like, maybe this is like a marketing thing. And then they delayed the movie and I'm like, okay, it's probably not. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I mean, the movie looked like oh. shit, but they... What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Go, 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 go. Oh my God. Oh, you got it. I lost me. Level two, dude. God damn it, dude. This stage is so fucking annoying. So there was like a week or two. What the hell? <laughs> Why did I fall off that? What the fuck? This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, game. What the hell is this?
this is garbage. Oh my, oh god. my god. All right, just let me get out of my <laughs> own fucking hell that I've created, please. <laughs> Thank you! Yay. God damn it! That was awesome. All right. I like how you went from not using it at all to now. This level needs it! It's, hor it's horrible! <laughs> this is the worst level of the game. No one no one is gonna bat an eye that I fucking cheated the system and broke Sega's fucking code. <laughs> Their code of ethics. Whoever made, made this, I forget who made this fucking game. You know, the, the fact that it just fires you I off the know. edge like really quickly like that is really mean. I know! It's like I should have been holding the direction, but I wasn't paying attention. Jesus Christ, okay. Boss fight. Ugh. Anyways. Is oh, that shit? That's- This is actually- Okay, this is a smart one. I'll give him credit for this one. Yeah. Is it? Kind of. Why? Uh, cause th it, there's no fucking- I gotta hit a thing with a hammer to- oh. <laughs> Yeah, this one's hard, actually. I hate this boss. As a kid, this took me forever to figure out. It's <laughs> difficult, cause you gotta, like, jump on these things. <gasps> oh, you're out of rings, Cory. It's okay, I play Dark Souls. That's cool. Watch out, Karushku! Oh. You're basically the coolest gamer I've ever met. Fuck, I, that I knew sucks. you were a fucking gamer, Cory. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is We nuts. don't need a soldier, we need... a gamer. <laughs> That's gonna be the future. Gamers as soldiers? Someday the army's gonna figure out that gamers are really good at flying drones or some that shit. That was hard. Cory, That's we are gamers, we do the impossible, alright? We save the planet. We, Wait, I just thought of something. We drink Mountain yeah. Dew, Gatorade, G Fuel. Oh, sorry, go ahead. By the way, I just lost my Whoa, only rings fucking up ring. There. Rewind, dude. Just rewind. No. Just rewind if you die. <laughs> Corey, pretend it's like a videotape from the 90s. I think you only have to hit it four times. Corey, jump into the TV. Yeah, and please, join Corey. Sonic in his in his quest. That was an accident. Whoa. <laughs> no. I don't understand how I was able to do it last time. I don't eat the... I got a piece so fucking bad. Jump, like, you fuck! No! I was trying to... Boop, beep, beep, I just gotta hit it one... I think I only have to hit it four times, four or five times, I don't remember. I know it's not eight. Well, then you're close, right? Uh, yes, I'm really close. Uh, you uh, fucking uh, bitch! <laughs> I like Sonic. I hate this fucking boss. And it's what? not even a boss, it's a test boss. It's a For Tesla. The... Yeah, it's a Tesla boss. This is what he released. Go! Yay! Yeah! I knew you were powerful. It, it's hard to get, because you're like constantly moving, so it's like, these things are fuck. This is a difficult boss. It's because of the momentum of Sonic. Just, exactly. He's it's like a plain... fucking steel ball on a table. You... Oh, dude, that's the perfect analogy. I've never heard of a more perfect analogy. Oh. This Oof. song better not play ever again. Yeah, it's gotta be over after this. Corey, this is the music that's gonna play when your wife is in childbirth. <laughs> okay. And, and you have to jump on her clit until the baby comes out. <laughs> I'm fine with that, As at least it? I'll know where it came from, it'll give me a fucking... <laughs> God damn it. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to like squeeze in there because I'm, I'm in hell! Can I try? Chris's turn, Chris's uh, oh, turn! Oh shit! Oh, you did it! See, I told you you could do it. It only took you 70,000 years. First Yay! try! Woo! First try! First try! First try! Yay! That sucked! Get past that highlighter. There you go. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, what? he's escaping! Oh, this is the last level. We actually <laughs> legit just did the My Big Brother beat it for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I was talking about, where you have to beat two bosses. You go into space. Mm-hmm. That is my favorite instrument. <laughs> they should replace Low real quality. orchestras with this shit. Yeah, big farty Sega Genesis trombones. <laughs> Look at him go! I don't think I've ever seen that sprite before. It's because it got banned. Oh yeah? They brought it into Sonic 3 whenever you're in um the water stage. I forget what it's called, I should know. I think know. I heard that, that it got banned in China because the, the president of China thinks it looks like him. <laughs> yeah, that's why they banned Supersonic in China. <laughs> he does look a lot like Supersonic. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is the- I know this one. Oh shit! Wait, this is Metal what? Sonic? I thought that was Sonic, uh, CD Metal Sonic. Good job. In. Good oh, job. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm cheating the system. Yeah, oh no, so this is the first Metal Sonic. I didn't know that. Ooh. 
I love that metal twang. Oh my god, I don't like that he, one. He tricked me. He conned me! Get him. God damn. Oh. There we go. Woo! Sorry guys, we don't have any continues, so I don't want to do this shit again. Sorry, I play like oh, I'm an adult. Oh, fuck him up! He Kick runs so fucking fast, dude. Holy shit! You can't beat him. This music's cool. Oh, now he's cool. metal him! Ah, he's fucking bigger than you! Why didn't he make the Sonic this big? Yeah, what a stupid <laughs> dumbass. I can't wait for the Lyle Tron to be finished. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. <laughs> You've been in your fucking... In your garage every day what? working on it. Did I ever tell you about that kid at my school that uh, insisted that he had a uh, a hovercraft? <laughs> really? Yeah, there was a kid at my school that said he had built a hovercraft with his dad. Come on, hold and on. And then it was uh, it was totally street legal. Like they cleared it with like the DMV that it was like a street legal hovercraft, and he could like fly it around. And everyone was like bullshit. He's like, I'll bring it to school tomorrow. <laughs> and he kept saying that for like half a year. Did he bring it to school and tomorrow? And then eventually, Whoa. eventually he finally like brought the thing and it was it was literally like a piece of wood, like a hexagonal piece of wood <laughs> with like a wooden like chair made out of it. Yeah. And uh and he was like, "Oh yeah, well I didn't bring the engine because like I can't bring that to school, but it's powered by a lawnmower engine and it flies it's straight legal." <laughs> <laughs> My friend moron. Patty actually does have a hovercraft. Yeah? Yeah, and it works. He, he took us out on it one time. Really? Yeah. Did it- did it fly? Did you see the stars? He- he drove it, like, on the road, and then onto the- It was like, there's this, uh, open water next to Wexford Town. Drove around on that. It was cool, though. There did we go. Did you kill all the fish? There was none. It's covered in shit. They suck all the fish out of the water and oh, blend wait, you them beat up. It. You did it! So this is what Triumph feels like. Black and white photographs. Yeah, it's like a Game Boy size screen for some fucking reason. That is weird. I don't know why it's they didn't make it more what bigger. They wanted. Maybe a they maybe they literally chicken. ran out of fucking space, and this is all they could squeeze in. Uh, there was a walrus and a chicken all cuddled up, and uh, I don't think Jesus would be. I too do happy really love this that. song. This song is really good for a credit song. They took the. Uh, they could have taken the Sega Genesis. Uh, Sega soundbite out, and then it would fit a lot more stuff. You know why this this soundtrack is so good? Why? It's because a a fucking pop band did it. it. Like in Japan, a pop band did this song, and this is one of their songs. It's like a love song. Really? Yeah. That's, that's why they so can't. Weird. That's why they can't do any more songs like this because it's like they they hired a pop band to do the music. It's a it's a really good song. If you listen to the original Japanese song, it's wow. really good. That's cool. Interesting. Yeah, there's that rumor that's no, kind of confirmed no, no, unofficially. Yeah, that, that Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson did it, it's uh, true. Sonic 3. He did it and he thought it sounded like shit, so that's why he didn't want to write his name on it. Oh, wow. really? Yeah. I thought it was cuz he got outed as a No, no, this was far before. Well, I mean, he got accused. Cast of appearance. Sonic as Sonic. Wait, who the fuck is Hayo He played Sonic oh. in the game. Hayo Nakayama. I'm going to piss my pants, pants, pants. I'm trying to think of the one who like did it. Pants, I'm going to piss. Yoshi. He's a Nintendo. Yeah, Yoshi helped with this. What is? I. Uh, this is. Yuji Naka. That's who it is. Yuji Naka. You can't it's Yuji Naka's birthday. Is the level is the debug or level select code? I don't know. Yuji Naka. I That's couldn't awesome. think. Yuji Naka was the one who developed Sonic One and. And two. when's his birthday, Corey? When do I bring the cake? It's. It, okay. It's nineteen. It's nineteen six, twenty seven. Nineteen. If that's if that's right, I'm gonna put a picture of him. Happy on his birthday on screen. <laughs> if that's wrong, I'm gonna put him sad on his birthday because everyone got the wrong invitation. <laughs> We're gonna and nobody showed up. We're gonna see. 